In order to understand why anti-dumping and countervailing duties are applied to certain goods imported into the United States, we must begin with understanding what they are. First, let's quickly define what is considered dumping. Dumping occurs when a foreign manufacturer sells goods in the United States at less than fair market value, causing injury to the U.S. industry manufacturing those goods. This dumping can be because the foreign manufacturer is selling the goods in the United States at a price lower than they would sell it in their home country. Or, the goods are being sold in the U.S. at a price that is lower than it costs to produce it. In the typical market conditions, there is a balance in the U.S. economy between goods produced or manufactured on U.S. soil and commodities imported from foreign suppliers. This scenario results in the U.S. suppliers staying in business with a healthy amount of importing to support the demand of consumers. However, if a foreign country is able to dump an increased amount of a certain commodity into the U.S. economy, it can cause injury to the U.S. industry manufacturing those same goods and potentially cause U.S. manufacturers to close when they cannot compete. This upsets the balance of the overall U.S. economy and makes U.S. consumers more reliant on foreign suppliers. In order to prevent dumping from occurring, the U.S. government has established certain preventative measures known as anti-dumping. Anti-dumping duties are imposed on certain goods in order to bridge the gap back to fair market value. Countervailing is very similar to anti-dumping with one significant difference. They are established when a foreign government provides assistance and or subsidies to local exporting manufacturers, such as tax breaks. The benefits enable a foreign supplier to sell goods cheaper than domestic manufacturers. Once again, the increased amount of importing can potentially cause U.S. manufacturers to close when they cannot compete. And without the domestic competition, the foreign market would then be able to raise the price of the commodity at will. Therefore, countervailing duties are also imposed in order to bridge the gap back to fair market value. Ultimately, anti-dumping and countervailing duties are imposed in an attempt to bring the commodity's end cost to the importer to be about the same as it would have been if it was purchased from a supplier within the United States. This ensures American suppliers can afford to continue producing while the American market retains a healthy balance of imported and domestic goods. Do you feel more informed? Subscribe to our channel for more tips and insights into the international trade world.